started practicing yoga, I noticed a gradual change, but a significant change. It's not just like any sport. It is really a wellness sport because it has a holistic approach mind, body, and soul, and it controls your emotions. Indian Consulate in Jeddah and the Indian Embassy in Riyadh are actually very supportive. I started practicing yoga when I was almost 18 years old, and that was because I was diagnosed with aromatic autoimmune disease, lupus erythematosus. And that year, my parents decided that I can't go to school anymore, and that was 1998, and I was in high school. Um, so because I had no school and I was staying home, I had a small book for yoga my dad brought from one of his travels in the 70s. And I just started uh, trying the asanas and practicing yoga. So I noticed a lot of change, even though I started with only three asanas, because um, I loved doing activities and they stopped me from doing a lot of things. So I had joint pain, fatigue, uh, sleeping problems and an anxiety and my anxiety developed to panic attacks but when I started practicing yoga I noticed a gradual change but a significant change that's why I continued and about the how it made you uh, experience a wellness sport so why would I call it this way because I would I don't mean to take yoga out of its tradition and heritage. I do really appreciate and respect how yoga comes back from uh, the Vedic philosophy and Sanatana Dharm. But because the most visible aspect of yoga is the asana and pranayama's practice. And once people start uh, experiencing the asanas and the pranayams, it takes them gradually to the high end and by implementing the whole system they start experiencing the wellness yoga would bring to their life and would i say a wellness sport is just making it uh, easy for people to understand it's not just like any sport it is really a wellness sport because it has a holistic approach mind body and soul and it controls your emotions the chitta vrittis and the disturbances of your mind that's why it's a holistic system and it's a wellness sport. You start by practicing physically, but then it reflects on every other dimension or kosha. And what will you do to uh, the motivational things you are doing as a yoga trainer now? Sorry? As what made you to be a uh, yoga trainer? Yes, um, I actually started even teaching yoga teachers back in 2008 because I noticed, just like me, a lot of people wanted to practice yoga, but there was no teacher, no trainer. So that's how when I started actually training trainers, they started teaching others and yoga was available for people. And, 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 and particularly in Saudi Arabia, you have started uh, uh, telling about the instructors. How to experience all that? Okay, so Saudi Arabia people, um, are very interested in uh, uh, wellness, health, well-being, um, a lot of uh, activities. So Saudi people are very open-minded and we have diversity in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is maybe the biggest country in the Gulf and we have a lot of nationalities, we have diversity of cultures and we have a lot of expatriates too. So we're used to um, looking into different cultures and accepting um, new things. So people were actually excited and motivated to learn about yoga. And what I started doing is uh, being in the media and promoting how yoga is good for health, how people can practice yoga the right way, and how to look into the scientific background of yoga. And your association with uh, uh, the International Yoga Day and uh, Yes, uh, we celebrated the first international yoga day in Saudi Arabia in 2015 with the Indian consulate in Jeddah and we had a big number of people turned out. It was a three days uh, conference. We made it a holistic conference. There were speakers who are actually uh, Saudi yoga teachers and doctors as well. 
in different aspects. So there was a display of medical research of how yoga can be helpful for the body and mind, women health, uh, for corporates. Uh, it was a very successful. And since the first yoga day we're having and celebrating the yoga day every year, and of course the Indian consulate in Jeddah and the Indian embassy in Riyadh are actually very supportive and they like to promote yoga and share activities with us. How was the recognition of this uh, yoga day to the Ministry of uh, Sports in Saudi Arabia, formerly known as General Sports Authority of Saudi Arabia, yes. and your contribution to it? We always get support uh, to hold the International Yoga Day and many other yoga activities as well by the leadership because it helps the health and well-being and because also um, the the health and well-being aspect in relation to the SDG3 is more very important and part of the Vision 2030, uh, our Crown Prince launched. And you've been awarded with Padma Sri by the government of India. And I'm of course really honored and me being awarded the Padma Shri as a Saudi yoga teacher shows the level of the relations Saudi Arabia and India share and it's really an honor for me and for my country too. Uh, spreading of yoga in the Middle East and uh, uh, yoga has been spread in different nations. What do you think about yoga being? Uh, yes, Saudi Arabia is really developed now when it comes to um, all sports and health and wellness uh, practices in Saudi Arabia and other countries, of course. Uh, really in the Arab region uh, look up to us and they learn from us um, and especially the last visit for Mr. Ramesh Lohan from the Yoga Asan Sports Federation he uh, he cherished actually uh, the development of yoga practice in Saudi Arabia and how many Saudis are uh, yoga teachers and yoga practitioners and how yoga is really really um, let me say um, um, maybe very successful yeah. in Saudi Arabia. And uh, the role of a trainer, how much trainers have you made? I trained a lot. So I trained a lot of yoga practitioners, more than 10,000. And there is now under me more than 3,000 yoga teachers. And hopefully it grows more. We teach. And the influence of yoga in your life? Yes, I would say I was really lucky to be introduced to yoga. It helped my health. I coped with my illness and I led a very healthy lifestyle. And uh, of course, today with the presence of the Saudi Yoga Committee under the Saudi Arabian Olympic and Paralympic uh, uh, Committee under the Ministry of Sports, we are more motivated to promote yoga the right way we created a system and a regulations and a governance system for yoga that can be set as a model uh, to be able to promote yoga to all age categories or society categories and help people just take yoga the right way as a lifestyle. And your future plan for your team? Oh yeah, we have a lot of future plans and our strategy actually is for the next uh, five and ten years as well. Uh, we are planning to promote yoga to a wider range uh, for society and we're working with three types of yoga. Yoga for health and well-being, which is the traditional yoga, hatha yoga and its philosophy. And of course, yoga therapy and the yoga as and sports for youth who look for taking yoga to a very advanced and professional level.